Producer Allison. Got the new draft there? Yep. Pretty good, huh? I have some notes. Oh, okay. Well, um, I am open to feedback, as you know, so, uh, you know, go right ahead. A few things, actually. I'm just gonna play back the video and make some comments as we go. Okay. Welcome, a whole bunch, to sip on it and spin. Long, long ago, we were traveling with some friends and we stopped at a bar and had a drink called The Heat. Jalapeno, citrus, sweetness. It was great and so tasty that we went back the next night looking for another one. Years later, when we started making drinks at home, we knew that we had to recreate this masterpiece from memory. And after a whole lot of trial and error, I'm happy to report that we failed miserably. And in so doing, created something just as good. So let's make a, does this drink make my ass look hot? Right away. Except after the intro though. Now to make your ass look hot, you're gonna need several ingredients. You will need two ounces of tequila. You will need two ounces of jalapeno simple syrup, which I will touch on in a minute. You will need half an ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of Meyer lemon juice. Now, Meyer lemon juice is the superior lemon for this drink. If you don't have Meyer lemons, that's okay. You can use regular lemons. If you have a little orange juice, throw that in there, that'll help. You'll need a wedge of lime for garnish and a slice of jalapeno also for garnish and some red pepper flakes if you wanna kick it up a little bit. Now we'll need to head over to the stove to make our jalapeno simple syrup, but before we do, I need to prep some jalapenos. This is the star of the drink. As we prep these, there's no need to toss away the seeds because those will contribute to the heat. We want to, first of all, make sure we have a slice for garnish, put that aside. We wanna chop these small enough to maximize the surface area exposed to the syrup but big enough that they will easily be strained away. Yep, chopping away, here I go again. As I like to say, while my wife's out shopping, I'll be here chopping. Okay, right there. Hmm, uh, what's, what you, oh, do you think I need to add more time for laughter there? Um, mind, so. no, I don't think that'll be necessary. Well, what's wrong? Well, it's bad. What, you mean like the lighting or I don't follow? Um, no, the, the line is bad. Shopping and chopping. Well, well no, uh, that's a joke. It's, you know, it's, it's a solid joke. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's not though. It's terrible. It's like painfully bad. Oh, you're crazy. That's good. It's probably like the best line of the video. Nope. Maybe you just didn't get it. Excuse me? Maybe the reason you didn't think the joke was funny is because you didn't get it. I mean, I like to think I bring a certain level of comedy to the writing, and so maybe it just, you know, sailed over there. <laughs> okay. Head. Please explain to me the solid joke. Okay. It's pretty simple, actually. Uh, you see, the words shopping and chopping are very similar. Uh-huh. They rhyme. You see, but the meanings are different. Oh, that is bad. Yeah. It's like really terrible. It's awful. Should we keep it in? Yeah, okay. Hey folks, it's syrup time. You know the drill. Add equal parts sugar and water to that pot. Brown sugar is best for this one. Add your chopped up jalapenos and then bring to a boil. Reduce the heat and let it simmer for a while. Then let it cool. Decorative mason jar. Now the longer you let your syrup sit, the better. The stronger the jalapeno flavor and heat will be. I recommend make it the day before you need it. Let it soak in the fridge overnight. It'll be really good. But don't worry if you don't have time for that. We find that the intensity of the heat tends to vary from pepper to pepper anyway. So it's not always gonna be exactly the same when you make it. It may not always turn out exactly right, but as I like to say, Sip happens. Okay, so here again. 
Well, I know it's not the joke this time because that was a great joke. Is it though? Yeah, because it's a playoff of shit happens. Yeah. Well, it's an old saying and I've changed it so that it will apply to cocktails. Okay, and you're saying it's funny because the words sound similar? Uh, yeah, okay, it's bad. It's, it's, it's really bad. Easily as bad as the first one. Keep it in? Yep. All right, let's make this drink. Grab your mixing glass. We're gonna start with two ounces of tequila. Measure first one, then two ounces of tequila. Next up, two ounces of our jalapeno simple syrup. We just made this, as you'll recall, over at the stove. Let me get this syrup in here. Two ounces of that. We were relying on this for jalapeno flavor and heat and sweetness. Two ounces there, that's good. Great. You need half an ounce of lime juice. We like to do this with fresh lime. And we're gonna measure out half an ounce of lime juice, about right there. Same thing with our lemon. Meyer lemon, half an ounce. All right, now we can shake this with some ice. Got some ice in my shaker right here. We can pour this in. It's nice and cold, about 10 seconds or so. That's pretty good. Now we can prepare our presentation glass. Here it is. We're gonna put in a fancy ice ball, as we often like to do. And we can strain our cocktail right into the glass. There we go. Now let's add our garnish. We want a wedge of lime. And I'm gonna cut a little slit there so I can stick it on the edge of the glass and a slice of jalapeno as well. And I'm gonna give that just a small slit as well. And you can place that right on the glass. And if you like a little extra heat and want it to look real pretty, you can add some crushed red pepper flakes. We like some heat, so we're just gonna add that right on top and it looks real fancy as well. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh, that is good. Signature slow burn finish. That whole section there can probably go. What, which section? Like that part where you're making the drink. It's not very good. What, but that's like the whole thing. Yeah, you may wanna edit that part out. Okay, anything else? I like the theme song part. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like that, you should know that we have a plethora of similar cocktail recipes, videos, and some other nonsense at siponitandspin.com. So go check it out, it's a good time. In fact, I was about to head over there myself, so I will see you there.